Now, welcome back. Irish food producers featured strongly at the Great Taste Awards 2018, where four Irish cheeses scooped up two Gold Star Awards. Joining us now to sample these award-winning cheeses is cheesemonger Kevin Sheridan. Now, Kevin, good morning, morning to morning, you. Morning, Kevin. You're saying awards, you don't, you know, you're not really that fussed by them. Mm. However, they are important and yeah. they mean yeah. something in business terms as well to all of these manufacturers, well, don't it's, they? It's a great uh, level playing field to bring some maybe less known cheeses, particularly to people's attention. And give them some necessary. profile. Exactly, yeah. I mean, and they've got to be good because each... The, they go through several judging categories before they're awarded. And there are yeah. thousands of oh, thousands. producers yeah. putting thousands. their products. And not only from yeah. Ireland, the UK, but also all over Europe. Products. And you say 90% of the, of the products that these awards get nothing. Exactly. And then there's the stars. Then there's one, one two, two and three. three. So one star is really hard to get. Yeah. Right. Two stars very hard to get and a three star. And these are all stars. So these are all two Jesus. stars and one three star. Which right. Is, three star. We're going to yeah. start with the three star. We're start with the three star. Okay. So this is Boyne Valley Bomb. Uh, made by a guy called Michael Finnegan out near Tara. He's got his own herd of goats and he's been milking goats for a long time when he got into cheese making over the last few years. And he makes a cheese called Boyne Valley Blue, which we've been selling. And one day he was up and I said, that'd be nice without the blue. So he made us a Boyne Valley Bon, which is just basically not piercing it, so yes, not allowing yeah. the blue to go yes. inside. Because it's a lovely, delicate goat cheese. And he's just making that over the last year. We've only been selling it here and there, you know, very much in its infancy. So for him to go over, that used to go over. And win three, and win stars. three stars. was So this will make a huge serious. difference to his business. Absolutely, yeah. No, it's, it, again, you know, this, very few people would even know this cheese exists. Yeah, yeah. Now the, the phone's going to be hopping from... Of course, it's well, a lovely success story, though, isn't it? This one here, yeah, the bone. The bone. Okay. So it's You're a sorry. really delicate, you know, Thank this you. isn't about the most hard-hitting cheese. It's, it's, it's about something nice, and goat milk cheeses, people are often quite, you know, worried about goat milk cheeses, but you can taste that, they're very, very delicate. I think you that's know, delicious. Vanilla Dryer. and all those kind of light flavours. And the wonderful thing about goat milk cheeses as well is goat's milk translates the land, you know, so you pick up their foraging on herbs and scrub oh, and you get all those herby flavours. And there's a lovely kind of creamy aftertaste yeah. to it, isn't there? Yeah, yeah. really, really <clears> nice finish on it. really nice. So lovely, and a very small little farm, family farm, Rearing They're goats and making busier, the cheese busier. all by hand. So that's the Boyne bon. Valley Bond. That's the Boyne Valley Bond. Okay, yeah. next, well done to them. So next is another goat's cheese. Okay. Uh, okay. This will be a bit more familiar to people called St. Tola's, one of the original large yeah. goat's cheese made out just on the edge of the burn in County Clare. Um, and this is this one here. The roly Again, poly one. The roly poly one, exactly. <laughs> and uh, this is it here. Now, this is even more delicate, more fragrant. And you can okay. imagine this these one? goats on the edge of the burn, all that diverse. Uh, foliage that they're eating and that's translated oh. through into that cheese so and you get lemoniness tones of lemon and a beautiful beautiful delicate cheese lovely on a salad i think actually when we did the salads we use uh, this cheese use that this. will be beautiful yeah, really, really, on a salad really nice. yeah, yeah. Um, it's kind of really crumblier good. in texture as yeah, well isn't it yeah. so very quite fresh it's only matured for a few weeks so you're really That's keautiful. those those light flavors delicious and, and that brilliant cheese maker two, two, two stars two stars yeah. congratulations yeah. Really, really good Another award winner. So uh, then we're 15 Fields. This cheese is made by Eamon Lonigan down in County Waterford. And he makes it there. And actually, we take it off him at two days old when it's only a toddler. And <clears> we mature it. <throat> then we wash it over about, for about eight months, mature it up wow. to bring out a different kind of level of flavour. Okay. So this is a bigger flavour now. It's kind of in the cheddar family. Okay. But not a pure cheddar, but it has this those kind here? of tastes. Yeah. This one here. Uh, much richer and, and real length of flavour. Again, w it's called 15 Fields because Eamon has 15 Fields. Okay. Yeah, so this is where, you know, it represents that piece of land oh. down in... in, in it's so kind of authentic and yeah. real, isn't it? The whole, it really when is. you know the story yeah. behind where yeah, that comes and from. And that's what cheese is incredible. It's like wine. It's incredible at representing a place and a person. Mm -hmm. and Absolutely. And translating that into food. It's, it's that's wonderful. a strong cheddar now yeah. for me. Gorgeous. Big flavour. Absolutely really, really gorgeous. Big flavor. 15 Fields. So it's... 15 Fields. Again, these are... Lesser known cheeses, yeah. You know, so, for them to so what's get that the time frame from the time you get it from uh, this guy to when you actually so we judge it's, it's all about, and this is one of the things that we're always talking about is you know, it's a very easy thing to understand, particularly in the world of cheddar. You know, it's eight months old, it's ten months, it's ex mature. Yeah. It's not about time yeah. because each batch is different, so you've got to judge when it's ready. So, okay. it's about eight months, but sometimes the flavor comes <clears> up really early, yeah. it might be seven months, so it's, sometimes it's quieter. Yeah, so, yeah. We, we don't sell when it's this age, we're yeah, tasting yeah. all the way through the process, you sell when it's ready. Exactly. At its yeah, best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the last award winner then you have? Crozier Blue. 
So this would be, this is the same family as Kasha Blue. Again, yes, the one lots I brought of viewers will be familiar with this brand, yeah. won't they? Again, but sheep smuck instead. So we're, we're great with two goats, a sheep and a cow. So Very good. Flipped it over to the normal yeah. sort of profile. And uh, the Grubb family have been making Kasha Blue since the early 80s. And, and they're probably the most famous farmhouse cheese, but still a family farm. Where are um, they? Based? They're in Tipperary. Tipperary. And they've got two farmers. They used to do the, the sheep themselves, but two farmers now look after the sheep. The herds. Oh, that's a punch and, that, uh, Beautiful, rich oh. cheese. That's a rich cheese now. This you need Irish to be a cheese lover for that, don't you? It's, but it's... Mm. It, what the Cache Bleu are fantastic doing. The, they have mm. all this flavour, but there's a roundness to it. Yeah. And a sweetness. And, you know, it's not just... Sometimes when you, you eat blue cheese, it's just one single punch. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's like a chilli almost. Yeah, yeah. But you've got oh, so a bunch, but you've got gorgeous. other flavours coming through. You've got sweetness and saltiness, and you've got... And the sheep's milk cheese really is kind of a, almost a fattiness to yeah, it, you yeah. know, a real mouth filling. Beautiful. Uh, and I think Crozier Blue is is one of the best blue cheeses in the world. And I mean that I've tasted the best blue yeah, cheeses yeah. in the world. And, and that's I think up it there. Is, it's, it's definitely beautiful. up to the top. And wow. they're all beautiful. And Where they, do view, viewers go and buy these, Kevin, just for so, anyone? Yeah, I mean, sure. like, mostly the cheesemakers, I mean, actually done stores entered the Finstein Fields in, mm. into, into the competition because it's not only cheesemakers, it's yeah, retailers, yeah. It's retailers as, well. as well. So that's yeah. available nationwide. But... The Wicklow Bond, or the, sorry, the um, Boyne Valley, Boyne Valley Bond would be a hard one to get. We've got it in a few of our stores and, and you might get it around the place like that. Okay. Close Your Blue, you'll get it in anybody's, you know, anybody that's serious yeah, yeah. selling cheese or even half serious. I yeah. mean, most of the multiples would, would carry yeah, yeah. Close Your Blue. Yeah. Um, St. Tola's in the Ash, a little bit more difficult to find just because it's more difficult to keep. You can't wrap that one in plastic and stick it on yeah, shelves. Yeah, yeah. It's so delicate it needs to be minded. So it's really yeah. independent stores or, or counters that are freshly cutting cheese is where you'll find that. Okay. But it's very popular in restaurants. Look out for it on, uh, on menus. Menus. Good, good restaurants. Yeah, yeah, do that. Very good. The kind of places you hang out in, Kevin. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Well, congratulations to all the producers. Superb project. Absolutely. Yeah. It's a lovely really, story. Really good. Well Thanks, done. Kevin. Right, earlier on, where Anna stuffed her face with that perfect roast lamb and all the trimmings. You want to see it was like Nunu the Hoover <laughs> from the Teletubbies. Here's how the copy is.